obvious enough we're going to talk about space. Um, as you might know, thousands of years ago, philosophers thought that the Earth was the center of the spherical, around which uh, sun, moon, planets, and stars rotate. But later on, they discovered that uh, the Earth actually rotated around the sun, and also situated quite far in one of the Milky Way's uh, spiral arms, named Orin's arm. Well, most, the question that actually remains unsolved is, what actually centers our galaxy? Well, uh, in the 1930s, uh, an American engineer named Carl Jansky discovered a radio signal coming from the constellation of Sagittarius towards the center of the Milky Way. Uh, this galactic signal source, Sagittarius A star, was then identified uh, in 1974 by astronomers Bruce Balick and Robert L. Brown. Uh, it was during the 1980s that astronomers actually formulated the idea that this central compact object was in fact a black hole, of a size until then unimaginable. This supermassive black hole uh, has a mass that is 4 million times uh, greater than of our sun. Makes you feel tiny just thinking about it. Uh, now, there must be this question that is piquing your curiosity, or at least mine. What actually happens if you get sucked into a black hole? Well, uh, this question might never be answered because, you know, everything in space is so far away, it would take a human being two billion kilometers to actually get to Sagittarius A star. But, uh, hypothetically, if we uh, ever uh, manage to, you know, with the development of technology, uh, physics, and science, maybe in the future it will be possible to travel far distances of space. Uh, anyway, before we jump into any hypothesis, you have to know that black holes are one of the most mysterious things of our galaxy, uh, with very, very uh, a lot of theories revolving around it. One of them is the general relativity, which is the theory we're using today to base on an answer. Uh, the general relativity is a theory of space and time. This theory was published by Albert Einstein in 1915. The central idea of uh, general relativity is that uh, space and time are two aspects of space-time. Space-time is curved when there is matter, energy, and momentum, resulting in what we perceive as gravity. Uh, now, back to the main topic. If, let's say, hypothetically, an astronaut ever gets lost in space with a, a very, very effective heat-proof jumpsuit, because, you know, around Sagittarius A star is a lot of hot gases and stars, estimated to be around a billion degrees, they would be uh, vaporized immediately. Now, this astronaut, by a lack of luck, finds themselves being pulled towards the one and only Sagittarius A star. Now, a black hole is a stellar object capable of creating a curvature in space-time. Its gravitational force is so colossal that it deviates light to its gravity center, which gives it that shiny outside look and very, very deep darkness on the inside. Um, now, this uh, astronaut uh, would be pulled towards this supermassive black hole, and, and its gravitational force is so massive, it would be impossible to turn around and escape. Uh, in this case, uh, the astronaut had the luck to fall feet first into the black hole, otherwise they'd be rotating around it in such an imaginable force, like the moon around Earth, just a billion times faster. Um, this astronaut... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, this astronaut would be observing uh, the image of the universe narrowing, like they're getting deep into a black tunnel where they only can observe the light from where they entered getting smaller and smaller. Uh, now, uh, they can see from the other side uh, of their light, because in some theories you can see, uh, no, because black holes deviate lights, obviously, and in some theories you can see your reflection before you and next to you. Uh, the more the astronaut gets dangerously closer, the more spectacular phenomena they'd be observing. Uh, first of all, the more they're getting closer, the more time starts to expand, and seconds becomes minutes, then hours, days, years, and centuries, and the expansion never stops. Another visual trick is that the more they're getting closer, the more they're turning a red tone. This is called the Doppler effect. If somebody could actually see them, they'd see a red flying object going very, very, very slowly. Um, this astronaut uh, would uh, be observing, um, uh, no sorry, <laughs> the astronaut uh, would be uh, observing um, the, no, with the expansion of time, the astronaut would be observ observing stars dying and fusion of galaxies. Every million years to their eyes would be only a second. 
After some time, the astronaut would have passed a very dangerous phase, the event horizon. This is the border of a black hole, and the astronaut is exactly now 13 million kilometers away from its gravitational singularity. This is the center of a black hole, and where all the black hole's mass lies. Well, now, uh, the closest thing to the center, in this case, his feet, are going to start to expand. He would start to feel a weird sensation in his legs, but to this point, there is no visible pain. Then, the astronaut would feel his whole body start to expand into a point where even he can see it anymore. Uh, he's experiencing what we call in the general relativity, the spaghettification. This is the last step before the death of any galactic object, and fortunate enough to get sucked into a black hole. Uh, the asteroid would be so stretched, he'd be literally sliced in half, and still alive, they would continue their spaghettification until they end up into a bunch of molecular pieces. And finally, these pieces would merge with Sagittarius A star's gravitational singularity, and all that is left of our guinea pig is absolute nothingness in the middle of turtle darkness, the end. Now, this is just a hypothesis that obviously has not been proven yet. Uh, this is only based on the general relativity, and logically, we don't actually know what happens past the event horizon. Thank you for listening to my speech.